Hello everybody and how is everybody doing on this beautiful Saturday evening? The sun is shining where I'm at all day. A little bit chilly but it's still good. Anyway folks, you know I'm, I'm here to make another video and I'm sticking down in, um, what is it, the eastern part of the Caribbean? Is that, well my direction is lousy. Anyway, the other day I did, um, uh, Accra with the saltfish fritters um, and this was um, for the folks in um, Barbados, Trinidad, Grenada, that area there you know um, you know like we all do the same thing but you know they do it a little bit different so today I'm and it's mostly I was just focusing mostly on, on Trini with that one so I'm focusing right back now on this Trinidad and this one I'm tempted to do um, I just come across it and I just love it. I, I and um, it's called um, doubles. And from what I get, I did some research into it. And the um, doubles is a East Indian um, um, street food, you would call it. But now it's so popular. And how it started out, from what I gather, is an Indian couple, husband and wife. And you already know, in Trinidad and all of these islands, uh, in Trinidad and Guyana, once slavery was over, they have to get other people to come in. To take up the slack so most of these indian east indian i pretty sure came from india and even jamaica's in um you know it's one form of slavery to another and they were called indentual workers you know all over the world where they you know exported um east indian people mostly after slavery you know because they figure that they have to get um somebody else to replace you know their free labor but well you know i think these people gotten pay i got paid but you know um it was a hard you know it was hard yeah you know it wasn't as art of slavery but you know it was still rough so this is what a lot of indian end up in trinidad um you know all over the caribbean and africa wherever and you know a lot of people when you you go to different um culture you bring your culture with you so from what i gather i was doing a little bit of research as well was a lady and her husband um started this in trinidad and it was just done as you know as, as, as uh, i think you know back then it was it was called um like poor man food that like you know in Jamaica you know we have a chicken foot and all of that and all of those things they call poor man food but it um just gets expanded over the years and like everybody in Trinidad uh, they even have a festival right now because that's the guy website I went on and see and you know I go for his recipe um he have a festival coming up the end of May in 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 um, London England um doubles and what doubles basically his folks um it's a flatbread, right? Um, it's made um chana. Um, Indian call uh, it chana. We call it um uh chickpeas. So it's called chana, and um the bread is called uh, okay. Chana is made from chickpeas, cooked up um very nicely, and the bread, the flatbread is called bara, and it's very easy to be uh, done. But you know um it's. It, it, it's it's a simple it's a flat um flat bread and um you just fry it for two minutes and the chickpeas um you soak what the the soak the chickpeas were soaked overnight with a little baking and powder in it so I boil it on early on um and it's gonna be like cooked down sauté down with onions and peppers and stuff like that so that's the chana that's that's what um it's called in Indian culture chana which is um um chickpeas. Okay, and the bread is called bara. So they, they put it together and it's called a double. Okay, because well, it's really double up. It's a chickpea cooked up with um the flatbread. So it's called a double. So like I said, it's a basically it's a, it's, it's an Indian dish. Or it started out. It still is. Um, but it's very popular in India. Um, in Trinidad because Guyana and all those places, everybody's doing it. Black, white, any different? Because I've seen lots of people up there and I'm um, from different culture and they're doing it. So it was originally called a flat, um, it's fast, so and uh, you know, it's a fast food thing, it's pretty easy, but it's very nutritious because chickpeas have so much nutrient in it, you know, um, you, you know, chickpeas is like a total meal when you have chickpeas, so basically, so this is it. So I am not going to do a lot of talking because I'm going to attempt to, um, try and, 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 you know, do the dough part right now, you know, because I'm not a dough person, so right now. It calls for, um, he said one pound of flour, but I think that's around two cups, I think. 
so I'm just gonna wait because I I love going with that guy um recipe I forgot what his name is but he's in England he's an Indian guy and um, he's very popular I have his restaurant and stuff like that so he said he, he, he you know the flour and, and I'm using um okay you could use um plain white flour but um he said the best thing to use is um um A self rising dough so that's what I, I i choose to use but you're still going to be adding um your um yeast and some baking powder to it but you can also use just a plain all-purpose flour but um i'm using he said the best thing if you want to get the best result because this thing has to be light as here you know there's um the barrel has to be very light very light as here so I'm gonna weigh this and see how much it is. If not, because I saw most of the recipe said two cups, so he said a pound. So let me see what this say. This is well, one kit, yeah. Okay, so I'm using two cups, and it's gonna be with warm water. Okay, um, so two cups of um flour and as I say you could use all-purpose flour but I'm using um self rising because that's what he you know he insists on if you have self rising yeah um, use self rising so I'm using two cups of self rising flour so so I'm following his recipe guys so you know I'm going along with this recipe I it, it's on the YouTube and you could get it off there I can't remember his name but you know, I'll put that in, yeah, but he's in England. And there's tons of these recipe up there. Tons of them. He's not the only one. But this one I find, he was so fast and accurate, you know. And he, and he explained to you that, you know, don't worry, you're doing that at home for yourself. So, you know, not, not to be fancy. So, okay, so there's two cups of self-rising flour. A half a teaspoon of turmeric. So that's going to give the give it a bit of color, you know. So a half a teaspoon of turmeric. And... And this is too much powder, folks. Okay, I think um okay, the curry powder is gonna go on go down later in the um in the channel. So right now so uh half a teaspoon of turmeric and a half a teaspoon of self right Um this is fast, quick, easy. Um so half a also of yeast even though it's self rising I was surprised he still you know you still have to use yeast but there you go so the guy know what is you know and also half a teaspoon of turmeric half a teaspoon of yeast half a teaspoon of salt no baking powder because that would be like a overkill yeah <laughs> so a half a teaspoon of salt okay um there you go and um the sugar now you know that the sugar now the yeast need that because the yeast feed on sugar so the sugar will activate the yeast so it's also a half a teaspoon and i'm using cane sugar um brown cane sugar well uh, you know any sugar but this is what i have this anyway so i close it so i'm just gonna be using so a half a teaspoon of sugar okay and that um is a result that it will um activate the heat because you need sugar to activate the heat okay so basically that's it right there let me just and i think it's called for warm water i think okay so so far folks two cups of um self-rising flour if you don't have self-rising flour you can use all-purpose flour and um a half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of um you know quick yeast, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of sugar. That in a sense for the um for the yeast. Okay. So.
so it's going to be um with um mix with lukewarm water add oil to it to soften it uh, i think it's after you finish knead it you add the oil to it so it doesn't get dried out okay so i'm gonna be mixing and it has to be a very soft it has to be done very soft it's like um it's not gonna be like you're making dumpling so i'm gonna be using some lukewarm water take some from the kettle and i'm just gonna take some from the um filter so just get it lukewarm okay this is a bit hot i don't want it too hot let me put some more you're not going to be using cold cold water so it's going to be lukewarm okay so i have to clear i washed out i cleaned on my counter already because i'm going to be doing the um after I finish this, so okay, so what we're gonna be doing, just mix it, mix, incorporate everything together, the turmeric, the yeast, the salt, and the sugar, okay? Because if we keep it one sided, then you know, okay, so okay, right now I am gonna be um no rings, no things. Okay, so I'm gonna be start mixing it right now, folks. I'm just gonna be um I could have done this early on, but I, you know, he was showing people how to do it, so this is why. Because after I finish it, I have to leave it for 15 minutes or so for it to, you know. I think the hot water, the warm water also help to activate the heat, so that's it. And it, it's not to be dry, um, done like you're doing dumpling, but it's going to be on the um, wet side. Okay, um... See the turmeric start to show up. Color the beautiful turmeric. So it's gonna be like a little bit um wetty and you're not gonna be needing like for their life, you know. So because you want these things to be very light. Yeah, and if you need it too much, then you know. So it's gonna be a, a, a sort of on the sticky side. So it's like this folks it's gonna be like this yeah see the tumor all over it right now is that beautiful so this basically what we get what's yeah and I'm I'm gonna rub up some oil over it so the hair doesn't dry it out and leave it for 15 minutes while I start to get the chickpeas Chana Chana so remember folks we call it chickpeas and it's called Chana C-H-A-N-N-A -N -N -A. and this bread is called Baro flatbread B A R A Barra, I think, yeah. So this is how it, it has to be done because, yeah, like that. See, very sticky. Not. I look at the beautiful color from the turmeric. Okay, beautiful. So what I'm gonna be doing now? I'm just gonna rub a little oil over it and let it sit because the oil, what the oil does is, to put um keep it from because the the um the yeast is in it so you know it could dry it out easily so i'm gonna rub some a little bit of olive oil over it and leave it for about 15 minutes while i start um while i do the chickpeas and after that we're gonna be rolling on in leather balls and then flatten it out yeah so let me see what time now it's 7 23 okay so about 10 to 15 minutes um then i start i come and start get the ball going rolling the ball then flatten it out so it's folks this is what it has to look like right now okay so i'm gonna rub a little bit of oil over it that was the instruction so it doesn't dry out while it's sitting here okay so yeah so i'm just gonna rub a little oil all over it olive oil i'm using okay all over okay so it's gonna sit here for a but you see the olive oil move it around pretty fast pretty good look at that that's it okay beautiful so there you go folks so i that's why he said had the olive oil to it so it's going to keep it all dry and nice and um easy to move around so i'm going to leave it there for now i'm going to get my hands washed and i'm going to start um stuff for um for Chana. Let me just wash my hands. 
So that part of the countertop there, I wash it down already. Well, my countertop is always clean anyway. My kitchen is always spotless anyway. So that's where we're gonna put some flour and getting it going. So right now we're gonna start with the um, the chickpeas is already cooked and I cut up um and for this part we're gonna have um I think uh, you know I did about um 400 grams of chickpeas and it. I think the chickpeas, um, you know, depending on how many people you're gonna be having it, um, you know, gonna be having. But I, yeah, okay, his recipe, let me see what his recipe says. Because a lot of time when I cook, I don't really follow the recipe straight. You know, I always, um. okay, so. Right now we're gonna be having a, a okay, 400 gram of chickpeas, he said, okay. You could use it thin, but I've used the dry because you know what? I keep thin products, but I keep those for, you know, really emergency because I don't really, and because now they're telling me to stock up, I always stock up on them, but I rarely use them unless when necessary, right? So I use um uh, chickpeas, I, I got a bag of chickpeas, and um this is what chickpeas look like, yeah, okay. I got this and this was a, I got this in the store, it was a full bag, this was two pounds, this was two pounds of chickpeas, uh, which was about 907 gram, okay, and I soak it, you, any kind of peas, what you do, you soak it with a little baking powder in it, and the next day it cook like that, you know, so I soaked it overnight, so, and, and I cook it early on, so it's done cooked, so I'm going to um, just flip the camera over here to where I'm going to be doing the chickpeas so I'm gonna just have the pot ready there and it's gonna be a half a cup of cilantro um, now I need a curry this the curry is optional but you know I love my curry especially better part curry yes you said the curry is optional but I love my so I'm gonna way past the optional and you know so basically let's come back here for a minute so I have the curry here so it's um so it's we have that um 400 gram of chickpeas you can use thin or dry one one teaspoon of curry powder two teaspoon of turmeric and cumin 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 is very nice and so I'm just gonna Turn the stove on and start get this ready while um the is getting the 15 minutes it's getting it 15 minutes up same all right just chop these in the meantime chop up everything here in the meantime because okay so um and also folks for here we have um spring onion chopped onion cilantro and shadow benny and garlic so this is what shadow benny look like it's a seasoning it's a herb it's it's to die for it's awesome from the time i hear about Sh shadow benny i don't stop using it folks it's awesome and i'm gonna just use in sweet onion along with some garlic um i love my sweet onions or uh, this is i think valdez sweet onion and they said um one clove but i'm gonna be using more than one clove because i love my garlic also okay so i'm just get put all of this together and you know once i start so we have to chop some chopped garlic here so i have the cilantro and the and some parsley cut already so i'm just cutting up some garlic right now and i it also you have some chopped um sweet pepper and it's called pimento pepper and it's just give your food so much flavor it's, it, there's no eat to it but it's just um lots of flavor so i have some pimento pepper chopped already okay let me get my big so this is shadow benny and it's uh it looks almost like um dandelion but believe you me the smell is awesome so i have some shadow benny here and green onions 
and cilantro and then you have the curry going too okay so i'm just cutting up everything is gonna hit the pot and so i'm watching the time for that because that's the easiest part the hard part is to actually get it yeah because like i said when it comes to anything with dough i am not very good at it so this is going to be a testament here for me not a dough person that's why i don't like you know because i don't maybe because i don't like dumplings i'm gonna use my bigger knife because uh, this one here is going very slowly so right now i'm gonna be doing cutting up some um green onions so it's both green and white onions cut up small and chickpeas is have so much protein in it people um i was um doing a bit of research on it and my gosh it having so much protein um potassium magnesium vitamin it's loaded with everything and it's, it's like a pro this is what you make hummus from you know hummus that um dip yeah so this is what hummus is made from and you can also cook chick, chick, I do chickpeas, rice and peas. Okay, another piece that I could have put with this, like a thickener, is um, lentil, split peas. But um, I didn't bother um, doing the lentil. I didn't have the time. To, uh, by the time I remember, I was out all day and I just got back in. So, And that is not really mandatory. But you put it with it and it gives um, they're a nice combination, right? Because this, this also thicken up your stuff. You don't have to worry about yeah the chickpeas is once it's mashed up in there it will thicken it up you know so but this is a dish like i'm mostly vegetarian go for amazon chickpeas and all of these stuff but we need to start like you know i always do a lot of beans and sting like that so for me this is nothing new and i cook chick chickpeas a lot yeah i cook i make um a, a piece a salad with um red kidney beans white kidney beans chickpeas black eyed peas and it's so nice you just add your um your green onions and some red pepper bell pepper to it and you just put your homemade vinaigrette on it and it's so nice and you know i love i do i love my peas and rice and all of that so so now i'm just gonna put a um that's about an half an onion Lick to it so once i have all of these ready then um that thing should be set to go so i'm just gonna add some onions and these are sweet onions, valid onions so they should have a nice um flavor to it and these are just grind up very small small pieces so the, right here i have the cilantro and i i have the shadow bunny garlic and i think um that's basically it yeah you don't need any it didn't call for any sweet pepper or bell pepper or any tomato or anything like that this is just herbs it's called for so um that's where we're going with it i better use all of this um, green onion because it's a lot of chickpeas and chickpeas you know if you don't have it with this you can have it you know do some steam some basman to rice or um you know so six, six chickpeas can be eaten with anything yeah okay so we have the garlic we have all of that ready right now so ah uh, so this is a cilantro here i'm just gonna put everything on the board right now because it's all gonna go in all gonna go in and this is some parsley um so all the um the herbs are right there ready so so while i'm frying up that uh, those you only put it in only two minutes on each side um that's it you take it out and you have to have a towel to put them in so they don't get um all dried out yeah so i'm gonna yeah just get a nice um tea towel to put them in so they don't get dry out so right now i have to make some space and I'm gonna get the pot for the oil to um and folks my um 
My yogurt that I did last night, they're still fermenting. Still fermenting. But they're going very good. They're getting very good. They're getting there. So that recipe I'll do later on or tomorrow. That's that's for um the gluten um lemon cake. And everybody's just staring that way right now, folks. Um everybody's just doing well you know we have people with um vegetarian a long time ago. Oh I need more lights. More lights, more lights, more lights, yes. Lots of lights. Okay, much better. Okay, folks, so um, I just put on the oil for the um, I just put on the kitchen counter because I'm gonna be doing it on the kitchen counter. And I think appropriately, I I going off and off with the oil. I'm using off um olive oil and off uh, vegetable oil. I like that combination for frying. So you have to have enough oil in there Folks, so the oil is heating. You know what? That's it. I'm gonna do it over here so I have a better view. is eating so people can see how I'm doing the um the dough okay so I'm just so right now folks okay, this is a chick pea skin rest over here for now door here folks yeah see what it look like okay so I'm gonna put some flour on the, on the countertop right now and while it's done we're gonna add a little bit of um oil through the process okay Folks, I'm gonna have to be doing it like this. These are little balls, you're gonna make little balls. Gonna, yeah, so this is so they're gonna be done into little balls because it's set right now, so we don't have to let these waste. So we make them in a little ball like that. The oil give it such a nice oh beautiful. So I'm just gonna make enough um and they're two minutes and they're done. Two minutes and they're all done. So the dough feels so light and nice, guys. From the I guess it's from the flour, you know, the self-rising flour. And these are gonna be uh, anyway. When I get there, I'll show you guys when I get there. So see how many I can get out of this so these are you know roll them up into balls like that I think I might get about two more balls 
depending on how big you want to have them okay so I have three six nine in all that's good okay okay I'm just gonna lower this a bit so folks this is what we do now you um stretch them out like this see and you're gonna add some oil to your hands so a little bit of oil still oil on it okay and yeah you're gonna stretch them out like this you know it doesn't have to be neat or in any you know but you just um just stretch them out no holes in them the flower feels so silky oh okay this one yeah you just have to because they're gonna put together and make like a little sandwich so okay so and it's two minutes they don't need more than two minutes okay so let's see no more than two minutes I just keep adding a little bit of oil. My clothes is going to be flowery, folks, so um, hate no mind. And you're just going to turn them on each side. I... Sorry, folks. I'm going to flip them over. Two minutes on each side, folks, and they're done. Because remember, the light is here, okay? So I'm gonna have the towel here to, um, so, oh, I don't wanna put, you have to continue to put oil on them so they don't, um, yeah. And pull them, pull them, pull them, folks. See, it's done. So I just put them in a towel, a tea towel to keep them nice and, um, you know. Oh my gosh, they're so light, folks. They're so light. And I thought, I could, <laughs> you know, um, I thought this was going to be such a challenge for me. You know, it, you know, it's not. See, two minutes, folks, and they're done. You don't want to leave them in there for too long, you know, so they get, um, you know. This is it, so, and they don't have to be in any, you know, you know, you just do your thing. I think the pot will only wall too. And you see, I told you in a few minutes, they're done. Flip them over and it's done. The oil is the, 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 the key in there, you know, and you just keep flooring them over. And these are called bara. So I just flip. Two minutes you see once you see get brown and it's done as the guys say they don't have to in any particular shape you just these uh, maybe I can make maybe this is how you get roti because roti is another challenge for me that's another dish I'm gonna I tried it before the dough uh, you know what uh, when it come to all my you know meat and stuff but it's the dough I tried it once and it's like okay this one is done they're done pretty fast flip don't don't break on me in 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 oh my goodness I love it I'm loving this folks <laughs> I am love doing this. That's why I tell you, it's nice to get into other, you know, I don't just, don't want to limit myself just to, not that I have anything with Jamaican cooking, because, but Jamaican cooking is, you know, like for me, it's the best. But it's nice to um get into other culture, you know, other, yeah, this one is done right now also. See, I tell you, it's pretty fast. They do pretty fast. Yeah, it's not like a fine dumpling, you know, and the, the dough there is so thick. No, this is easy stuff. You just put them out there and um, you do it and you put it to rise. Let's set for 15, 30 minutes. 
And it, listen, I only have four more left to do because you see, there's nothing in there, you know, to prevent them from um, in the pot for that long. Like I said, it's not doing dumpling. This is um, air, 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 air. This can you know. So I have three more to go, folks. All moist and nice. Oh my God. I think this is the same consistency maybe to do um, roti because it's so, it's so light. Whoa. I'm loving it <laughs> because you know I'm not I'm not a finger person so it's like awesome for me you know so flip that over and this is butter flatbread so folks please like share and subscribe tell a friend tell a friend because like I said folks I'm not living myself to you know I am just trying any and every anything in any culture I don't limit myself I never limit myself in anything in life you know because it's good to um to experiment and try other things don't let don't shut yourself in a box you know don't shut yourself in a box I like um you know roti and all of that stuff And when I did the acro the other day, it was like totally different from how we do our, um, you know, it, you know, it, it wasn't, it was just the, the, the flour, the, the dough, you know, um, having that, um, see folks, I'm on the last one, I'm done, and my, I want to black, black of black dress and it's all white, but I don't care because, um, I am loving this, I do it, this is, Okay, flip over. See, two minutes, two minutes, folks, and it's done. Two minutes, and it's, and that's the last one. Whoa! I feel pretty good. So I'm going to be doing the china now. And it's just cooking it up, and it's done. It's not it's not a long dish to do once you have your... You, um, in some of the videos, I see people is doing the chickpeas um, there because they had um, baking powder to it, but... I wanted to do that ahead of time because um, that wasn't necessary to wait around for that. Um, because everybody knows how to cook chickpeas, you know, how to boil peas. So um, I didn't want to. So, folks, that is one more to go and it's done. Wow. Wow, folks. I am loving this. I don't want him to get burned. Low. This one is done. That one flip over and it's done. And I'm just gonna put the pot on to do the chick piece. And this one is done. And folks, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Wow. It tastes a little piece. Mmm. Whoa. Folks, look at that. Awesome. Okay. Right now. Done with that. I'm going to be doing six piece. The chana. I want to call it by the proper name. So right now we're doing chana, cooking up the chickpeas with all the, those nice, beautiful herbs. And then we'll wrap it and then we'll get all the condiments out. And I ate when the stuff go between the stove here, folks. I ate that. I'm a clean freak. Okay, so folks, I think I'm just going to... Oh, flour all over, but I don't care. Flour all over. I'm just going to use a bit of this oily flour because, you know, it's good. Yeah. Well, it's not, oh, not, it's not a lot of oil needed in this in, to cook that up, so... 
Deixa aqui esse. And I'll put everything in the description there, folks. Sun is still shining and it's what? 8 o'clock. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Summertime. Okay, so folks, right now, I have all the seasoning here. We have a good look. I don't want to put my camera too close to get the damage. I lose so many cameras already. So many phones. Okay, so now, folks, we have the onions. I'm going to lower the stove. I don't want my stuff to burn. We're just going to add everything. The onion, the shadow benny, and the cilantro. And the garlic. Everything going to go right in, folks. And I'll just give that a stir. Oh, the smell, folks. The smell, the smell. So good, so good. Okay, so one teaspoon of curry, two teaspoon of turmeric. I'm gonna lower this over a bit. Oh, that's fragrant. Okay, so right now I need one teaspoon of curry powder. And for me, it's not optional, it's a must. I got my curry. <laughs> okay, so one teaspoon of curry. Okay, and pork, better pack. I even tape on the name to my bottle. That's <laughs> I don't forgive you all that crazy, but I love my better fat curry. Anything curry. And it's going to be one teaspoon of turmeric. Two teaspoon of, of turmeric and two teaspoon of... Of cumin. Cumin is, a, a, is one of those Indian spices that is so good for us. It just brings out the flavor in everything. And then you're gonna mix that all up, folks. Oh, the cumin seed when they start to release all the um, that flavor in them. I think there's two teaspoons. Yeah, so I'm up a teaspoon. Of. And these are all beautiful Indian. Um, oh, they smell. And one cup of onion that goes in our spring onion, yeah. garlic, scotch bonnet, salt to taste. Um, and I'm gonna be adding to water right now. And this is gonna be cooking for about five minutes. Then I had the um, couple minutes. Then I had the chickpeas to it. Okay. That smile is to die for. Salt to taste is in. Um, scotch bonnet pepper. And I also add um, pimento peppers. You know? And I'm adding just a little bit of my Gaia. Do it. But I want to keep it just as close to their recipe as possible, you know, so. because for the um, dip I'm gonna be using some heat so it's gonna be cucumber to the tamarind I have no tamarind sauce but I have um gonna be using my chili sweet chili 
Okay, folks, so right now I'm adding in the chickpeas. Okay, and let that will cook for a little while, about five minutes or so. So that's the chickpeas I just ha um, put in. See, see how beautiful it is? I can't stop eating one of these um bread, they're so nice. Mm. And you know the good thing because I don't fool around bread or I don't buy bread anymore, I don't use bread, so this is like a treat. The smell of the cumin is so awesome. I love the smell of cumin and turmeric together. So folks, that's gonna cook for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna peel the cucumber right now and um so it's gonna be a cucumber. Cucumber, I'm gonna be um, great, great in the cucumber. I run out of tamarind, I, I normally have tamarind sauce, but I run out, so but that is part of the dip, tamarind dip, or um, but I have my chili, and um, so I'm going to be using the sweet chili sauce, and maybe some um, mango chutney too also, so you know, there you go, so it's just cooking down a bit right now folks, then um, it will be done. As I, you know, a two parts, I don't find good to show you. Here you see everything, how everything get um, put together. Let me just see what this place is like, if it needs any. I'm just going to put in a, a flavor. Uh, vegetable um. and you know you can mash some of the chickpeas so it's thick in it yeah just mash it that's for what the I saw him did you just mash it because like I say if I had um the lentil the split piece to it it would be I think that's what they, they, they had and it would have um thickened it up faster but that's what you know that piece does split piece one day I'm gonna do a split piece soup dish Piece soup, but not with no thick tail, it may be such a salt beef. So it just needs to cook down now a bit. Oh, I forgot to put the scotch bonnet. I'm not gonna put too much heat in it, folks, because the chili I have my chili sauce there, so I'm just gonna cut a little piece some.
a few more. And you know, it is a hard piece to cook that, but if you soak it, or when you put it on the boil, you put some baking, about a teaspoon, tablespoon of baking powder, baking soda in it, that does it. Like many dry um, peas, it's, you know, it's, uh, it takes a while to cook, but you can um, shorten the cooking um, time if you do that. And that's why I put it to soak in um, baking soda overnight, so when I cook it, I didn't have to have, um, in, in about 20 minutes, half an hour, it was done. But if you don't do that, then it's going to take longer. You know, so. So I want that to dry right down. Get thick, very thick. Wow. Little bit of cracked black pepper. You know, I was looking at the tamarind in the store today, and like I said, once I see the phosphate and all of that stuff in it, I just said, no, no thank you. I can do that myself. No, because that's what I'm trying to avoid right now, folks. All of this um, phosphate, this and all of these stuff that preserve these things, which are so detrimental to the body. So... I could have gotten it, but I, and what I do, I'm so religiously now, I read everything and all of these things before I buy them. And was phosphate this and phosphate that. And I know the only place phosphate is supposed to be. And even soap now, they cut it out. I think a lot of soap now don't even use phosphate um, anymore in it, but it's in our food to preserve it. Go figure, folks. Read your labels, folks. Read your labels. So once I open my flour, I keep it in the fridge, it keeps it nice and through the time it's warm now all these um whatever around um, keep it in the fridge. If it's our big old bag then just um I don't use big bags of flour so that's one of the beauty for me. I just use small bags. So it's just drying down right now. And I'm just getting ready. Just gonna do it over here. I finally, um, looking in the store several weeks and I saw this thing called drumstick and I look at it and I said, that stuff looks just like moringa leaves. And you know, I have to thank this, this guy, this show, because that's why I went in and I just come across Indian drumstick slash moringa. And today I pick it up because you know what, this is what I'm saying, we're in a culture that everybody the same thing but we all call it different names for weeks i've been going in there and seeing indian drums or i think no drumstick or something like that and while i was researching the, for this dish i come across drumstick slash merengue so i buy the leaves because I'm, i i have the seed and i'm going to be making my tea or you can make drink um you can make drinks with the merengue with the leaves so but I put a few to set and I hopefully, you know, I get some, um, hopefully I get something from it and I, pl I will plant it. So it's right on my countertop right, right now on my um, island right there. So there you go folks, so I, I get my merengue, I finally realized that is merengue. Um, so folks, if anybody don't know, it's called drumstick, which is in the Indian name, it's merengue. Drumstick is meringue. 
Okay. Let's start it. Share that one with you guys. So this is drying down because you want to get it thick. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely. You see, you don't have to put anything to thicken up because all that um good starch from the and that's the good starch. That's that's the starch you call resistant starch. It doesn't stain your body and you know break down to um carbohydrate and um you know put your your blood sugar up. This is resistant starch. This is onion green banana resistant starch. You go, it does it work and it's done. It comes straight to but starch is like potato and rice. They're not going anywhere. They sit right there and build up in your system. End up with um pushing up your shooting up your um your blood sugar. So this is the good resistant starch in this. So this is almost done. Done in I, I should say so I'm gonna do some also some wow that thing pricked me today and I think it's in my finger oh shoot folks I think this is done 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 and the taste awesome awesome So folks, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fade it over here. So I'm gonna move my camera over here. I'm trying to get the um the mango chutney to open up, but it won't because I I did um did a bath with it the other day, so. So folks, this is a flatbread here, and I'm going to be making up two. They're still warm and nice, and so you're going to do them like a sandwich. So, oh, they're so good. <laughs> mm, they're so good. And then we're going to be, um... So folks, we're going to be doing like that, like that, and as I say, I don't have any, um, I do not have any tamarind because I refuse to buy tamarind, um, so I'm just going to have a bit of, cucumbers on it okay cucumbers that cools it down a bit more okay and folks you just add on this is my um, sweet chili on it. You will also have the tamarind sauce on it or even the mango chutney, but I can't get the bottle open. So folks, that is doubles. That is a double. I hope I did it justice. And what you do now, you just fold it like a sandwich this way and you just eat it. Okay, so that is a uh, uh, chickpeas, shana, flatbread bara, and this is famous um, in, it's an Indian dish, but it's popular all over in Trini, in Guyana. So that's a, what you call a double, folks. That and a nice glass of wine or, so folks, I hope you enjoy 
watching that recipe me do that recipe and please like share and subscribe thanks everybody for watching and for the trini i hope i do it justice as, as the guy said you're not making it to sell you're making it for at home but no you know but still i wanted to give it the best shot especially in another culture stuff but i think i did pretty good folks so i am very proud of myself so that's basically it's double there folks so folks i hope everybody um like share and subscribe and try it and trini and guyana especially trini big up yourself all you trini okay and thanks a lot peace